How to upgrade the SSD in a Mac Pro 6.1 trash can, what you should definitely consider before. Guys, as you may know, in the Mac Pro trash can, the NVMEs are user accessible. You can just slide this up and access the NVMe. The only thing you really need is a compatible SSD, one of these tools and an adapter, which I'm gonna to show to you in a second. But what's really important, which steps should you follow? That's what I'm gonna show you in this uh, short video, step by step. Guys, do you realize you should definitely check your boot ROM version slash firmware before you do the up update. Uh, just go to your system report. Um, it says now system firmware version. In the past, they called the boot ROM. I don't know why Apple changed it, but basically there are included uh, things like CPU microcodes. If Intel does some updates to the CPU microcode, they eventually end up with Apple and Apple puts them in these updates. So the current one, summer 2023, is macOS Monterey 12.66. And you see the boot ROM version stated behind that. Please make sure if you don't have the latest version that you just go to software update, do the necessary updates then it should upgrade your boot ROM to the latest version. And once you have that, please the next stick, the thing we want to do is create a bootable USB stick so you can install macOS Monterey from USB. Um, that's important. Just go to the App Store, download Mo macOS Monterey. That shows up in your program folder. And then where I would send you is to this uh, create a bootable installer for macOS um, support article on the Apple website. Please follow that and create the bootable USB drive because that's what we will need to install because the NVMe that we're switching out in the Mac Pro 6.1 is empty. So there's nothing on there. We want to install it fresh, like do a complete fresh install and that's what we're gonna do with that USB drive. Another thing that's important where you could potentially make mistakes is buying the wrong NVMe. Um, apparently not all the NVMEs work and some of the NVMEs that work aren't sold anymore. I mean, this 970 EVO, it's my understanding, it's not on the market anymore, but it's definitely on the list. So I'm also going to give you that link to the forum post where a, a bunch of drives are linked. And I also picked three for you that you can just use straight away where people reported they had the most success. Make sure you have the adapter and this uh, Torx the fitting Torx and the USB stick, and then it should be really no problem. However, uh, one problem that I noticed is, damn, Apple's pricing policy. Let's digress for a second and do a cost comparison. Guys, have you noticed? Uh, you can buy these SSDs for like 40 bucks, 100 bucks, uh, some very affordable, but Apple really smashes up a lot of these prices. I mean, 500 bucks, just for the two terabyte version. That's like a 500, 500% or what have you. So that's really something where I would say the Mac Pro 6.1 still shines that you at least have the ability to do that yourself because that Mac Pro 6.1 I bought for 500 bucks. If you now consider the up, uh, upgrade for the NVMe is 120, I'm at 620. So the whole used Mac Pro costs uh, as much approximately than just the upgrade on the Mac Studio. Uh, quite the difference uh, to put that in relation. Um, testing the NVMe speed, in fact, that's the values that I tested uh, after I did a fresh install. And that were pretty good values right here. But you have to, no matter what uh, NVMe you put in there, you are unfortunately limited to PCI 2.0. That's a little bit weird. The Mac Pro 6.1, although it has uh, internal PCI 3.0, Apple for some reason decided to just connect the SSDs via PCI 2.0, probably via some controller, which that limits the speed. Um, I wish they wouldn't have done that. I wish they would have given you direct access, then it would probably be twice as fast. But nonetheless, 1.5 read write, that's pretty decent. And again, in conclusion, you can save a lot of money in 100 bucks versus 600 in the Mac Studio. Um, just make sure you have the right firmware version first, update if necessary, load Monterey, create that bootable USB stick like I showed you in the Apple tutorial, uh, then replace the NVMe, make sure you have the right tools, the Torx and the adapter, and then you do the fresh install and that should be it. 
only disadvantage that I can see is um, that you may pick up the wrong, wrong drive, uh, which I hope you don't, uh, since I've shown you compatible ones and uh, read-write is limited to uh, 1.5. Simply, that's a limitation to the PCI 2.0. But guys, I digress. Let's jump to the next Mac Pro 6.0 video because we also want to know uh, how does it perform in video editing and in gaming and with CPU upgrades and stuff like that.